Guys, for my money, CSGO is just the best eSport bar none. There you go, I said it. And when it comes to the pinnacle of CS competition, the majors, well, there's just something magical about them. That's why this week's top 10 focuses in on the biggest moments from the biggest stage. Now, a major moment could be anything from an underdog run to a sick mechanical play that still stands the test of time today. So without further ado, let's get on with it, with the top 10 major moments in CSGO's storied history. Starting us off is the 2017 iteration of Astralis that broke the team's infamous semi-finals curse. Dating back to when they were members of Dignitas, the world's top Danish team were haunted by an abysmal curse. Simply put, they were unable to make it past the semi-finals and everybody knew it. But that all changed going into the 2017 E-League Major. With the help of newcomers Glaive and Kiarbi, the Danes were determined to break their infamous curse. How significant is it that they're getting those, you know, overtime wins, they're having those close games? Obviously, this is a team that's notoriously been called chokers and they don't have that mental fortitude. Do you think on that evidence we're seeing a change there? They either lose very, very narrowly or they smash people. When they did move on to the grand finals, they played in a match that many consider to be one of the greatest major finals in CSGO's storied history. This is incredible. Are we gonna see it? Are Astralis gonna break the curse? Are they going to win their first major, the first time they're in the finals? And their first title, we'll find out because the action's on and Gabby opens it up, takes down Bialy already. Here's the start, four more kills, and they will have made it the full distance. Snacks in a uncomfortable position, he goes down with the Max 7, he can't make it happen. Finally, Pasha coming in with a refrag, but he's down. The bomb has been picked up by Dupree, they get the spray, Neo takes one, and Taz is there, and Astralis, they win the first major championship, 16-14 against Virtus Pro. Unbelievable. And it's Astralis who will be carrying that trophy home with them. Incredible. Coming into the number nine spot is the moment the Virtus Plow came to a crashing halt. That's right, it's with heavy hearts that we hearken back to 2018's E-League Boston Major and the end of the Virtus Pro era. Coming into the Boston Major, Virtus Pro were the longest standing roster in CSGO history, having competed together since DreamHack 2013. Over that time, they cracked the top eight of the previous 10 majors and were always a threat to win it all. And it'll be Fifth Laren and Exist to come charging in and Snacks to go throwing them down. One more will do it for Virtus Pro. It's all on Forest. He gets the first. He doesn't get the second. They're just too happy. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your EMS1 Kanavita champions, Virtus Pro! Through thick and thin, the Virtus Plow stuck together, and they did have tremendous success, but Pasha Biceps and Co. were struggling ahead of the Boston Major. And while they were qualified for the new legend stage, they failed to net a single group stage win. And this is a team that, you know, the word legend gets thrown around. You saw Stewie there perfectly fine, but the word legend gets thrown around for any old reason. And it, it's really losing its value. But for these guys, like legend doesn't even come close to what they've contributed to this scene. Whether any of these players retire, whether we never see this lineup again, I don't know. But this, this community, this Counter-Strike scene is going to miss something when this lineup does go away. Shortly afterwards, Taz would leave the team, marking the end of an era that defined CSGO for so many of its fans. Taking the number eight spot on our list is one of the most unexpected Cinderella runs in CSGO history. That's right, we're talking about Entz, who came out of nowhere to make it to IEM Katowice 2019's Grand Finals. That's what's been against the next team all the way through this tournament. They are underdogs, but they are here to win. Please welcome to the stage. It's Entz! Easy for Entz, 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 Everyone had their eyes set on a Team Liquid and Astralis Grand Final heading into the tournament, and it's not hard to understand why. Astralis were on one of the greatest runs of all time, and Team Liquid looked like the only team that could stop them. 
But to <laughs> me, this looks like the best North American roster ever formed. That is, until the North American juggernauts met a Finnish team named Ents in the quarterfinals. Ents were never a serious contender going into the major, but they showed the world that they were a force to be reckoned with after taking down the world's second best team in stunning fashion. For Ents to take this first map in the quarterfinals, he's waiting, biding his time to strike, and strike he shall with three Down kills! the later stages of Mirage of that opening map, and it's gonna start him off well here. Alu going for the follow-up, but he's got it! Fast uphill climb against them. Would have to be a Herculean effort, and a leech has been found! Twist all the remains, has got one! About half the time left on the bomb. Doesn't have a kit, doesn't have any life! And Liquid, gonna have to save two more out. Is this the end for Liquid in Katowice? Alu, 32 kills to his name, gonna add another one, and here's the crossfire! Alu with two! This could be all she wrote for Liquid! 20 seconds left, and Alu chipped in for a third, and a fourth! Ents have done it! They pulled off the upset! The better team today, and Ents eliminates a tournament favorite right at the start of the playoffs. The number two seed, the number two ranked team in the world, and Ents doesn't blink, Ents doesn't care, and it's easy for them down the stretch. Zeus's run at the Krakow Major was both godlike and inspiring, which is why it comes in at the number seven spot on our list. I am not going to give up before I win a motherfucking major. These hallowed words were tweeted by Zeus shortly before he was kicked from Na'Vi, a team he had spent three years chasing a major title with. And one year later, he would do just that. Now a member of Gambit, a team that had previously struggled to crack the world's top 10, Zeus helped lead his team to the Krakow Major's playoff stage. He's waiting to bait Hobbit out. Snax takes damage from Flames. The Molotov therefore puts the nade in position, and Hobbit swings around to close the kill. Gambit, despite the team of Virtus Pro being at home, take pole position into the playoffs. The first team to qualify, I wouldn't have expected, especially if it's been so long since we've really seen an international event from them. Under Zeus's leadership, Gambit trounced tournament favorites Astralis in the semifinals before taking on Immortals in the finals. We are left with Immortals versus Gambit. It is the surprise major. Two teams that didn't stand a chance, according to most of the experts at the start of this. Marked by the iconic HE grenade, Gambit defied the odds to become major champions and solidified Zeus's place as one of the game's greatest in-game leaders. No one peeking, so he'll take every inch he can get to make this an instant kill. On the shotgun crossfire set, he's found! Steel trains and steel goes from Orange, done! An unlikely final, but worthy of every round. What a performance from all 10 players. Everyone had their moments. One more very, very, very important question for you. You tweeted, I will not give up till I win a mother beep in major. You just did that. Now what are you going to do? I just say, all of my stuff, I love you. And second, God help me, and I won measure. Coming in at number six is arguably the most controversial moment in major history. Now, before you ask, yes, it's the Olaf boost, and yes, we made our interns dig up the footage again. While playing on Overpass at DreamHack Winter 2014, Fnatic found themselves down 13-3 to LDLC and decided to mount a comeback by implementing their ace in the hole. All of Meister is still waiting. The patience game coming out. He can spot them coming out of squeak door as well. He's here. He sees them down there. Straight headshot. They have no idea. Smith's looking confused and dazed, and there's going to be a follow-up headshot. All of Meister, you've got to be kidding me. He takes down Kirishima as well. Oh, it finally works, and now Fnatic, if this is the comeback moment for them. Not only did the boost give Fnatic incredibly broken angles to shoot from, but information of the entire map. As you can imagine, it didn't take long for them to mount a comeback as they went on to take the map in stunning fashion. They make their way to the semis of another major tournament here. Pronax with a final kill, 16-13. Destruction rained down upon LDLC. Uh, 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 
but the story doesn't end there. The controversy continued to escalate after the match as the tournament staff and teams deliberated on what to do about the seemingly illegal boost. Without much clarity as to why, Fnatic forfeited their spot and in turn became the scene's premier villains. Coming into the midway spot on our list is a feel-good story of epic proportions. Early on in CSGO's history, Ninjas in Pajamas had defined what being a top team meant. With their incredible 87-0 run kicking off the CSGO era, the Swedish powerhouse dominated throughout 2012 and 2013. But when Valve introduced the Majors, the dominant Ninjas found themselves hard-pressed to win a title. With Fnatic poised to overtake the Ninjas as the best team in the world, many thought that the NIP era was dead and gone, heading into Cologne 2014. It's definitely going to be harder. I mean, I think the thing that's at the back of my mind is this is the worst nip I've seen since they started dominating. You know, they're, they're losing games, they look vulnerable, they're struggling against teams. Those people were wrong. For a way to equalize the situation, he's going to be walking up. Spots Pronax here in the corner, takes him down, turns around for the 180. Still 15 bullets left. Fiber clutches it. Are you kidding? It's going to be a double. He does it again and again and again. In a one on two, throws out another grenade here, gets up another kill. Is it happening again? Pronax is alone. That bomb is in the middle of nowhere. He's going to have to sit down in the open. He goes down. Genway clutches it. It happens again. They can do any longer. NIP have won Gamescom. 2014, ladies and gentlemen, 16-13, it finally happens. After nearly a year, after nearly a year, two second place finishes, Nip finally claimed the title. They are the champions, Gamescom 2014. The Ninjas fought and clawed to reclaim their title as the best in the world, taking down Fnatic to finally secure their first major championship. After taking the tournament, NIP would make it to the next two major grand finals, totaling five major grand finals in a row, a record that still stands to this day. Taking the number four spot on our list is the major that launched a new era in CSGO. Between Device's health issues and waning individual performances from the roster overall, the Danish team struggled early in 2018, but Astralis would go on a dominant tear after Kiarbi abruptly left and was replaced with Majisk. The question on everyone's minds heading into the London Major was whether or not Astralis would be able to carve out an era for themselves, or if their recent success was another flash in the pan for Danish CS. And, well, they answered that by embarking on one of the most dominant major runs of all time. It just comes well toward benches, yet to move. Nails now, no mistake about it. Taco's not even aware of where that came from. And Majis oh finds a third, a fourth as well as he catches out Twist. He could start this off with an ace. The crowd's crawling for it. One versus three, and he nails it. That is a beautiful start. Eight seconds to plant, but they have to plant the bomb. Can they find their way onto a plant? Flamey is going to be close, but no one is denied, and there's no chance here in the 1v3 for Electronic as Astralis closes it down. The bomb, Ardigan to peak, holding it now, and there is it. It's just down to Flamey, it's not going to happen. Astralis has won the face of London Major. Wow, it's finally happened, James. I think, I think this era might last for a very long time. All right, London is here for Astralis. The Danes would further cement their status as the best team in the world by winning two consecutive majors and becoming the first to win the Intel Grand Slam. Coming in at the number three spot is a CSGO milestone that won't soon be forgotten. A moment that saw one of the most dominant teams in the world become the first back-to-back -back major champions. 2015 saw Fnatic dominate competitive CSGO, and after winning the Katowice 2015 Major, the Swedish team had their sights set on making history by winning the next one in Cologne. One team stood in their way, but not even Kenny S and the rest of Envious could stop the Swedes from making Counter-Strike history. I, I agree, I mean, I kind of feel like Envious has been slightly more hot today, as I mentioned earlier, but then again, Fnatic is just an unstoppable force, especially when they get going. I feel like Olaf is going to be on point. I think that he's furious right now. He wants to prove the fans, the crowd, something, that he is the world's best player. 
Why would they slow down? There's the flash. That's going to catch Crims out. They're going to push on through. MBK gets one, but Crims with a spray down. He gets himself the triple. The Fnatic are not done yet. Was that, was that D-Man a, a, a last nanosecond kill? And look at the guns oh for AWPs. Fnatic, they're ready to shoot some <laughs> ducks as they cross the middle. It's going to be a challenge, and Apex not in this lifetime. He is destroyed. Six health, and ladies and gentlemen, it's going to require a miracle and nothing less for Happy to make it out. I don't think there's any chance. Flusher looking to end this. It's going to be a third title for Fnatic. They win a third major championship in Global Offensive. Wow, and what a way to finish it. Getting their place at the top echelons of Counter-Strike history. They are by far the best team in CSGO. There is arguably no moment that captivated an entire region quite like this one, which is why our runner-up spot goes to Cloud9 and their incredible championship run at the Boston Major. Things looked dire early on for Stewie and co as Cloud9 fumbled their way to an 0-2 group stage start. But the young NA upstarts managed to turn things around by taking down a couple of legends to qualify for the Major's playoffs. And they didn't stop there. The kill. He almost went down himself. There's body picking it up, and now it's a one versus one. Stewie versus Kenny. The smell of gunfire and freedom in the air, and Stewie picking up that kill. And Cloud9 are in the semi final. 15 seconds. They're almost out of time. And there's a flick. Cole gets down immediately, and now it's down to Phelps. He's down from the bomb side, and Taco is miles away. Shouldn't be with the kit already picked up. It's going to be a peek out of the open. He sees it automatic. Gets the triple kill. Saves the round and resets SK Gaming. After clawing their way into the finals, NA's greatest hope would square off against tournament favorites and unstoppable super team, FaZe Clan. No doubt, Cloud9 have had that miracle run. They've beaten so many great teams that are above them in the world rankings. This is the final boss. This is the FaZe roster. Just look at this talent. It is so stacked. But the American squad wasn't intimidated by the likes of Nico and Guardian, and they played the series of their lives. You won't make anything. Rain's the one doing the spraying. And now it's down to Skadoodle. He sees the directory. He needs to escape down towards short. P. He's got no grenades. He's holding a tight angle. Guardian is so red. Not expecting it. Skadoodle, there's one more to fight. Skadoodle's got nuclear. Four kills for him. One player, maybe two towards the other position. Now Olaf Price is on short, but it's a flash, and he's taken down. Tarek is not done with this major yet. Here it is, Tarek! They stay alive for one more round. After this round, we're either going to overtime, or we're crowning a new major champion. We're handing away a trophy. Nothing else is going on. He's got to go back. Stewie's on his own, but look at the time! Look at the time, there's seven seconds to go the bomb! They're trying to build pyramids, but there's no more play! Stewie's oh! won the round! We go to overtime! time! Cloud9 have done it! How have they done that? They came back all the way! In what will almost certainly go down as one of Counter-Strike's greatest underdog stories, Cloud9 pushed the series into double overtime and secured NA's first ever major win. Guardian waits patiently as Cloud9 sets the push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud9 are your E-League major champions! This has to be one of the most incredible storylines we've ever had. A North American team in North America with a major win. That is truly incredible. The class, resilience, the strength, time and again that they've shown is something very special indeed. Taking the top spot on our list is a play that simply needs no introduction. No, this moment isn't a tournament win. They get the spray, Neil takes one and Taz is there, and Estrada they win the first major championship, 16-14 against Virtus Pro. Unbelievable! It's not a storied upset. And Ali chipped in for a third and a fourth! And to done it! They pulled off the upset! Or a gut-wrenching failure. And he may start with aggression. He's playing it down. He's got two man spray down, but it's only one! This is simply a play that defines what a major should be. It's a jaw-dropping play that brings the crowd to their feet and becomes etched in your mind for years to come. A play that showcases what one decision, one chance, and some luck 
can do. Yes, Cold Zera's jumping off defines the beauty and the raw hype that every CSGO major should have. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground there. It's Cold. Oh, what? A jumping double from Cold. What is there going on right now? How does he do this? Cold is saving Luminosity with the all play. Unthinkable scenes there on the B apartments. They needed a huge play, but that was something I'm never going to see ever again. Ridiculous stuff. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Well, guys, that's all we got for this top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. And if we did miss any of your favorite major moments, let us know in the comments below. Now that you're still here, would you like to hear my impression of my favorite major calls? <clears throat> Smith's looking confused and dazed. There's gonna be a follow-up headshot. Here they come once again. A jumping double for cold. How does he do it? Unthinkable scenes at the B apartments. Those are the only two on this list. 